Now in this lesson we do some work on the axes of symmetry and vertex. Let's consider the axes there. And there's a parabola, an example of a parabola. y equals ax squared plus bx plus c is the general form of the parabola there. Now if we just focus on that, straight down the middle there, that's known as the axis of symmetry. Alright, so uh, perfectly symmetrical about that line. That point there, right at the base, is known as the vertex. Okay, so the vertex will be right on the bottom of a parabola, unless it's upside down, it'll be right on the top. But it certainly will lie on the axis of symmetry. Now the axis of symmetry, formula for that, x equals minus b over 2a. So you'll certainly need to remember that. And the vertex, though, once you've found the axis of symmetry, the vertex is found by substitution. Let's see how it all works. The first one, need to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex for the parabola y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. So the axis, the formula there, x equals minus b over 2a, where there you have your a's, your b's and your c's as usual. We've been very familiar with those using the quadratic formula and the like. Now the minus b then, well b is minus 6, so we're saying minus of minus 6, okay, that'll be positive 6 over 2a, where a is 3, so 2 times the 3. And we have 6 on the top, well 2 times 3 on the bottom is also 6, so 6 divided by 6 is 1, so therefore x equals 1 is the axis of symmetry. Now the vertex then, we know that x equals 1, and we substitute that value in. We substitute it back into the original equation. That'll help us find the y value. So substituting x equals 1, we get y equals 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 plus 5, and that works out to be y equal to 2. So there we have it, x equals 1 and y equals 2, so therefore we say the vertex is v, okay, v for vertex, coordinates 1, 2. So just to show that on a diagram, you don't, it didn't ask you to sketch it, but it's always a good idea to, to understand what we're looking at. There's our parabola, that's what it would look like. y equals 3x squared minus 6x plus 5. The axis of symmetry, straight down the middle there, x equals 1. It's always a vertical line there. And the vertex in this case, that point there, with coordinates 1, 2. Terrific. Second example, the parabola y equals ax squared plus bx plus 9 has vertex minus 2, 1, and we're asked to find the values of a and b. Well, let's just consider this. Minus 2, 1 lies on the curve, okay? Now, we're told it's the vertex, but it also lies, it must obviously lie on the curve. What that means is that equation there, y equals ax squared plus bx plus 9, those coordinates could satisfy. So, in place of y, we could write 1, and in place of the x is where we see x, we're going to write the minus 2. So by substitution we get a times minus 2 squared plus b times minus 2 plus 9. So we've got an equation there. Let's just simplify it a bit. Let's just write that 1 down. Well, minus 2, once you square it, becomes 4. So we'll have 4a there. b times minus 2 is minus 2b, and we've got the 9 on the end there. Let's get everything to one side. Let's just write the 4a minus 2b down. The plus 9 is going to stay where it is, but the 1 will come over and become minus 1. So 9 minus 1 is plus 8. We've got everything to one side, so we set it equal to 0. So there's an equation there, but we could probably simplify that a bit. Notice that everything could be divided by 2. So we'll do that. We'll get 2a minus b plus 4 equals 0. Now we'll call that equation 1. All right, because we've got an a and a b, we don't know those. So it's two unknowns in one equation so far. Let's see if we can find another equation somewhere. The axis of symmetry. Well, we could say the axis of symmetry is x equals minus 2. Now, how do we get that? Glad you asked. It's from the vertex minus 2, 1. Okay, that value, that's the x value. All right, so x equals minus 2. That's the axis of symmetry, and we read it off from the vertex. Well, what does that mean? The axis of symmetry, of course can be written minus b over 2a, and that will equal minus 2. So we've got another little equation here. We could simplify it a little bit by multiplying by 2a, and then get rid of the negative, so we end up getting that b equals 4a. All right, if you didn't quite get that, just pause it, and just have a go at that yourself. Now, what have we got? We've got b equals 4a, we'll call that equation 2. So looking at equation 1, 
and equation 2, we're going to do some substitution. We're going to substitute 2 into 1. So we'll have 2a, let's write that down. Minus b, instead of writing minus b, we're going to write minus 4a. So we've done the substitution. We have then plus 4 equals 0. So 2a minus 4a, let's simplify, get minus 2a. Take the 4 over to the other side, becomes minus 4. And if minus 2a equals minus 4, then therefore a equals 2. So we've got most of the job done. We've found what a is. We've still got to find what b is. That's easy. There's the two equations. What would be the easiest equation to work with to substitute a equals 2? I'm glad you said the second one. That's the one we're going for. So when we substitute our a value equal to 2, we end up, therefore, getting that b is equal to 8. Excellent. All right, well, that concludes the lesson. Good luck with your questions.